So we're here at X Venture Extreme Duty Trailers. This in my mind is ground zero for trailers. This is the trailer I have. This is the trailer I bought almost 10 years ago. And when I look over my shoulder, it hasn't changed much, which is a sign of good engineering. Made by Should Industries, I'm here with Tim, who has helped me all the way along the way. Tim, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Good. Great show. Yeah, so this is another uh, one of those expedition opportunities. If you're coming here looking for a trailer, you're gonna see a lot of people that try to make all things for all people. The thing I can tell you about this company is it's solid. They leave it to you to bring the components that you want, but the core is the trailer and its capabilities. Tim, I wanted you to just explain to people a little bit of the history of the company, why you guys are so good at this, and then we'll look at some trailers. Shut Industries started about 20 years ago and started by Jim Shutt, and he started by building military trailers. And just probably shortly after that, they got into building trailers for to go behind the Humvee. It's called the M1101, the M1102. They're all aluminum trailers and they're designed to haul up to about 4,000 pounds of gear for the military, everything from uh, generators to just cargo to ammunition. And that trailer got uh, so much good play that there's a company that wanted to go from that to something to pull behind a militarized version of the Jeep. And that's where the X Venture came in because the guy that was in charge of the international sales saw that that trailer would work really well behind a commercial version of the Jeep into the kind of the, the, the new and growing overland uh, industry here in the US. So it started as just a basic cargo trailer, uh, no power, no water, no nothing. It was just to haul gear. And it has gone from there to now include water systems, propane systems, electrical systems, uh, roof racks, and uh, be able, basically be able to do whatever you wanna do with your trailer. So I've been using mine, I cook in it, it's got a side table. We're gonna take a quick walk around of this thing. But I remember seeing videos when I was looking at buying this of the trailer running over an, an IED or something like that, blowing up and lending back on its feet. Now, I haven't had a chance to do that while I've been out there, but I've done similar things by bouncing it around. It basically can go wherever the vehicle goes, isn't that right? That's what the design is. Yeah, they, they really, if, if your Jeep or your Tacoma, whatever you're driving, if it can go there, it's going to, it's, you know, if your vehicle can go there, the trailer will stay behind you. And that's actually our tagline, behind you all the way. So let's take a look at this one. This is the uh, XV2, which is the one I have. Let's just do a quick walk around if we can on what it, what the features are and how they work. Okay, well, it's got uh, an elevating rack. So this is up about six inches from the normal height for travel height. So you can bring it down to keep the, the tent awning lower during travel. And then this is, this is a galley table. It's an aluminum construction with stainless steel skin over the top. Slides into the side of the, the trailer, and then when you want to pull it out and store it, it stores in a rack right underneath the uh, the rhino rack. So it's uh, very convenient, only weighs about 20 pounds. We use a, a cook partner stove, 22-inch stove for doing your cooking. There, Like I said, there's a 22-gallon water tank that sits right above the axle. That's plumbed into a water heater that's in the bed. And then we have the, uh, the faucet and sink tub here for doing your dishes or you know filling filling your pot for for cooking your spaghetti or whatever you're going to have when you're when you're here now in the back here is where the hot water heater is as well right that's correct yeah so the water heater is in the in the back of the bed you can fit a full-size atv in the bed of this trailer and there's a aluminum shroud around the water heater to protect it from hauling gear in here because the nice thing about the x venture is you can you can load it with all your camping gear or you can put a full-size ATV in here. You can put uh, a ton of bricks from Home Depot, whatever whatever you need to put in here. It's got a uh, Linux coated bed, Linux coated steps and fenders, and the front box is also Linux coated. One thing I also love is the electrical system, which we're gonna look at in the front, runs not only the, the down lighting and, and whatever batteries or things you wanna do to power your kitchen, but it's also built into the back of the trailer. So there's lighting back in here, there's Anderson plugs back in here, there's even a 12 volt in the back of the trailer so you can power something else. And I remember you telling me when I bought this that even the tailgate is super strong. Like what's the strength of what you can put on the tailgate? 
Yeah, the tailgate, the first show that I ever went to, the, the guy that actually is our international sales rep, Mike, he said, this tailgate can support 2,000 pounds. And I'm like, dude, the, you know, the, the GVW, the trailer is only 3,500. How can the tailgate support 2,000? Well, it was designed for the military to haul pallets of ammo. So they would have to drop it down, set a pallet of ammo in and slide it in. So yeah, tailgate's pretty heavy duty. I mean, there's even some remnants of some of the other things like these little hitches where they could actually drop the trailer from a helicopter into the field. So it's it's an amazing tool. Yeah, there's the, there's a lot of still military designed applications on this trailer from those are those are airlift uh, uh, D rings on the back of the trailer that our spare tire carrier goes into, and the military tie downs on the outside and the inside of the cargo box there as well. Fantastic. Let's look at the in front and the electric if we can. So Tim, I know this has evolved a lot since the first time we had it. We had a gold zero in here and a gold top, and now it looks like we're going with batteries. But now you've added a whole solar component. So if you can walk us quickly through what's in the power plant. Sure, our, our standard uh, power system includes one battery and upgrade to two batteries is available. And then you see the switch system to control our lighting, our uh, water pump, and then uh, compressor. If you add a compressor in here, it has a ZAMP solar controller. Uh, that allows you to basically plug in any solar panel to keep your batteries charged. There's also a NOCO brand uh, shore charge unit that's a marine grade shore charge unit. So basically anytime you're not using the trailer, keep it plugged in and it will uh, keep your batteries maintained and charged up. And what, what do we put in the other two sections here? Okay, the center section is really just for cargo, just for, I mean, two five gallon jerry cans will fit in there. That's usually what I do if I'm going someplace where I'm gonna need extra water. And then the, the right side in the front is also uh, just for storage, but you can fit a 50 quart ARB fridge in here. Um, so I got the solar run to make sure the fridge stays cold and right now we're at uh, 32 degrees so the beverages will be perfectly cold. Sounds like we might have to have one of those. So that's the XV2, I know that one well. This one, the uh, XV3, I'm not as familiar with. Looks like a smaller footprint, a lot of the same features in terms of the design and the layout, but big difference in the kitchen. Why don't you explain to us what that's all about, Tim? Okay, the XV3 started because people were looking for something smaller and lighter than the XV2. So it is, it's about two foot shorter and the cargo bed is actually a little bit narrower because the fenders are all on the outside. The actual overall track width is the same. And uh, there's not a front compartment that'll allow you to put a fridge. So as you see, this, this uh, trailer has a fridge in the back. It also has a stainless uh, table, drop down table on the tailgate. And the tailgate is a swing out rather than a drop down. The kitchen on this, it is, this is an option, and it's also an option on the XV2, but this is a slide out kitchen that allows you to just basically, you, uh, you, collapse, the, uh, you collapse the stove and you can slide everything back in, but this is plumbed in. There's a water, on-demand water heater that goes right to the sink. So basically you slide this thing out, you turn on your propane, you turn on your water pump and you got hot and cold running water here for your doing dishes again or filling your pot for the spaghetti. You have uh, a shower outlet on the other side so you can take a hot shower. And then the last thing I know you were talking about, Pete, is, is the uh, the handbrakes for the parking brakes on these trailers. And, and that's standard on both of our trailers. We use a Dexter torsion axle and it comes standard with the parking brake, which is really nice. Obviously, if you're in a hilly situation, you probably want to chalk the wheels anyway, but this allows you to uh, secure the trailer and not have it rolling away when you have it on a little bit of a slope. Absolutely, and then on top, you know, we, you pretty much, it's, it's a form factor. We can put any type of awning. We've got an ARB awning here. We've got a Darshi awning here. Uh, I have an Alucab awning on mine, put a James Rude tent, whatever you want on top. So the modularity of this really is what makes it flexible. And then at the end of the day, you can take it all off and use it to haul firewood. Exactly. So really, fantastic product. Again, as we walk through the aisles here, I have never seen so many trailer combinations, but this one by far is built in America uh, for the military, it's military grade. It goes everywhere. I have never had a problem with it using it myself. So we should definitely check it out if you're looking to, to build a trailer to go with. What's the website, Tim? GoXVenture.com. Good, so check out GoXVenture.com. Let them know, ask for Tim, he can help you. 
Tim, you're about to get 10,000 phone calls, so I'm sure you'll be ready for Thanks. that. Thanks, Thanks, Pete. And his cell phone number is, no, I won't do that to you. <laughs> anyway, check Thanks, these man. guys out. They're fantastic. Uh, and we're certainly going to always be featuring them on Old Man Overland. Thanks, Tim. Thank you. You bet.